So here's the big dogs. Since 2006, the snow on Mount Shasta has five times more aluminum, 61,000 micrograms per liter, than the soil underneath it. Pure white snow has more aluminum in it than mud. Can you beat that? The snow water is unsafe to drink on Mount Shasta. How can white snow have more aluminum than mud? Now, the aluminum content of rain should be zero, with a pH of 5.5. When jets are not spraying, maybe so. When the jets are spraying, we get up to 13,100 micrograms per liter, and pH up to 100 times normal. It goes really alkaline. This is over 13 times the federal safety limits for drinking water. Don't drink the water. Greetings, gentlemen. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm a retired scientist, bachelor's cum laude and forestry, master's in zoology, 35 years, USDA scientist, soil conservation service, US Forest Service, civil service equivalents in range, wildlife, fisheries, geology, agriculture, soils, ornithology, entomology, botany, mycology, hydrology, am I qualified to speak? <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay, you want some figures? Okay, latest water test, tested the rain. 13,100 micrograms per liter of aluminum, in the rain in 2013, normally it should be zero. So 13,100 is pretty damn much, folks. It used to be zero, then it was 100s in the 2000s, and then in uh, since 2010, it's into the 1000s and the latest 13,100. In the snow on Mount Shasta, pristine Mount Shasta, 8,000 foot level, 61,000 micrograms per liter four times the amount that is found in the soil up there. Where in the hell is this stuff coming from if it's not coming from the soil? Um, now, Mono, again, it's, uh, you know, these tests are international in scope. We're seeing this all over the world, guys. The aluminum in the soil has doubled in the last 10 years. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. So welcome, fellow guinea pigs. <laughs> uh, the collapse and decrease of agriculture is something I worry about. Okay, you can lead into the precipitation testing. Francis, what have you done? How's that gone? The way I get most of my data, in fact, I should say the preponderance, 90% of it, there's a little bit from a natural observation, but 90% of it comes from testing snow water and rainwater. And I get it as soon as possible after, after it falls. And it varies also a little bit on whether you get it right in the first a wave of precipitation that comes over for a front. And it's, there's always more in the first wave than in the, the end of a front. One that's coming through It's a five day storm. It's always a lot more on day one than there is on day five. Of a lot storm. more contamination. Uh, yeah, a lot more contamination. contamination. Okay. Like uh, in a first wave that came through one time here, we measured the snow, and the snow was 61,000 parts per billion, that's micrograms per liter, of aluminum. Now, that makes your hair stand on end when it's that much. Put that into context for us. That how high above what we should expect is is that we know that that's we should probably be less than one ppb or 61,000 put that into context if you would okay normal is zero and you're getting 61,000 normal would be zero or or maybe to allow for say uh, some people will say it's contaminated well a contamination rate would be like one part per billion which is a heck of a lot different from 61,000 parts per billion. Even the soil is not that high. There's more aluminum in the precipitation coming down than there is in the soil. That's very scary. And then, of course, in the rain, it varies uh, depending on whether it's the start of a front or the end of a front. And that varies, again, from in the tens of thousands 
to a couple hundreds and occasionally you'll get something that's less than a hundred but it's uh, almost always in the thousands of parts per billion uh yeah parts per billion or micrograms per liter and for and for, for this again that we should really ideally expect nothing not even one ppb and we're talking about hundreds or thousands of parts per billion would you not we i mean we would have to consider that highly toxic snow and rain as well, far yes. as human consumption the uh, federal government has uh, a toxic limit of 50 parts per billion or micrograms per liter of aluminum and we're talking you know 50 is the limit for federal and we're talking local people that are drinking rainwater that's doing thousands but when it starts going into the thousands like we're getting in rain and snow water now and i'm not talking just mount shasta i'm talking all over the united states you're getting in the thousands of parts per billion, uh, parts yeah. per billion yeah. micrograms per Keep liter. People it's just astounding.